Last week, OnePlus released Oxygen OS 3.5 community build, and today they released uh, the first update for that is 3.5.1 build. And here you can see I'm using that build only 3.5.1, and then this ROM is like more polished now. Actually, I didn't like the first build, but now it's like they introduced many bug fixes as well as some cool features to it. So, if you didn't watch my previous video about 3.5 community build, I'll provide the link in the description. You can go and check it out. So, let's talk about the 3.5.1 now. So, what are the changes? First of all, accent color added. It's like a new color basis added, and it looks really nice, smooth. And then I, I really love this new feature, new look actually. Next one is the battery icon customization added. So if you go to settings menu, in the battery section you can find, clicking here you can find battery bar you can choose or battery circle, or you can hide the battery. And if you want to show the battery percentage, you can click that this one. So you can see the percentage on notification bar. So that is one change. Next one is the LED customization added. So if you go to settings menu, display, down below you can find LED notification. So you can play with the LED notification for different notifications. It's a really good feature. And the next one is a display sRGB is added. So again, if you go to the settings menu, display option, you can find screen mode. There you can choose sRGB and you can even customize the one and call can customize that as well so I'll go with the default one for those who are preferring sRGB it is there and next one is the night mode added so again the display settings here is a night mode so it will change the uh, screen to some yellowish color so it won't be affecting affecting your eyes that's good and next one is the dark mode theme optimized so as usual we have uh, in display we have theme you can choose and then select dark so it will be like dark theme and this time the dark is became too, too dark so it, it looks good and it will save battery also and next one is the other general bug fixes so for for all there is nothing uh, no new apps included anyway but all the bug fixes are done here and then if you go here you can see a nice animation for the shelf and it looks really good and you can even add more widgets here I really love this whole animation here and then if you want to customize tap and hold here you can customize overall look enable shelf quick search notification you can even change the icon packs so I'm really happy to see this kind of good improvement over the oxy noise and I'm really looking forward to it so if you want to flash this one if you are using already using 3.5 you can wait for the update or you can flash it manually I will provide the link in the description and if you are using TWRP, you can flash like that also. That's it guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe for more.